Okay, here's the unit I'm shunt testing. Basically, it's um, eight turn transformer. I'm getting 8.45 volts out of this. And the last test I did was at 320 amps. Peak fluctuates significantly for whatever reason. I have a cooling system set up with this. I'm going to be using an ice water bath. The di inner diameter of this tubing is extremely small, so it trickles out at a slow enough drizzle to where if you run it long enough, steam is generated, but it still stays cold enough to where I can burn through 12 gauge wire and not damage the insulation on my secondary winding. As I said, the secondary winding is 3 millimeter tubing with about a 7 millimeter or 0.7 millimeter ID. And this is just a windshield water or a windshield washer pump. Unfortunately, I'm running it off of a train pack that has a breaker on it. It needs ripped out, thrown away. Because I can't run this pump very long without the breaker blowing. I don't know if the flow is visible, barely drizzling out. It's a slight trickle right there. That's cold. Down about 68 with that ice water running through there. That's the temperature reading of the insulation. Halfway, I'm at 123 amps. Two hundred and twenty-five amps. Shoot steam out of the coolant line. Ah! That wasn't supposed to happen. Two hundred amps. Two eighty. Okay, I'm done there. Secondary only got up to a hundred degrees. Can actually touch the electrode. Okay, my pump just blew a breaker. And it was only at 75 degrees, which is pretty good if you're running 280 amps through a 3 millimeter pipe. The lowest voltage this will put out is 3.45 volts on the low setting at 60 amps. And with this diode setup hooked up to it, I'm able to get 25 amps out of it. Um, well, actually, it was only 22 amps. I didn't want to go any higher than that. This is only a 25 amp diode. And the voltage drop was down to 7.44 volts from 8.45. So I basically just learned that when you're running motors and stuff like this, the voltage output of the device is sometimes way more significant than the amperage. For instance, I hooked this device up at full power on the MOT we just seen with that this diode. I was only able to get it to run at about 1 to 5 amps because I'm only at 8.4 volts. But yet, I can get it to run at 15 amps on a 12 volt setup. So I'm going to have to get more voltage in 8.45 need 16 to 20. If anyone knows how to make a dub, uh, circuit voltage doubler on something that high current, let me know. Okay. Do AC amperage test on max. That's 26 amps. Pretty 
pretty scary. AC amperes on low is 4 amps. 8 amps. 24 amps. this for a power supply on my cooling pump and it's a piece of junk. This is the tubing that I used. Really tiny hole in that thing. Okay, the amps on low setting are 60. 61 amps. At medium I'm at 120 amps. This is 12 gauge wire by the way. And that's about 370 it looks like producing steam in my coil here oh yeah that's hot water secondary is at 101 Primary is at 88. Okay, my pump just died. I gotta quit. Great. 200 degrees in my secondary because the breaker blew and my circulation pump went off. Just running for that little bit of time right there, though, brought it back down to that. So, in conclusion to all that, although it's not in the final video, I found out I'm able to successfully pass 500 amps through these clamps. 520 amps, I guess, is the max of my meter. So, it may have been far more than that. I did not have uh, any footage of the Mott used to do that. It's a far heavier Mott. It's a two-turn Mott. It's like 800 amps, I think. And this is the pipe I use for the secondary winding. As you can see, it's a pretty small hole. But um, this right here, I'm able to run 320 amps through this thing with no problems. As long as the pump don't die. As soon as the pump dies, it starts spraying steam out. But um, that's basically it. I'm going to be doing some other things with that mod. It's not done yet, but um, this is a power supply that I'm building for electrolysis experimenting and the making of uh, perchlorates and things like that with electrolysis processes and it's also going to have a lot of other voltages.